the first uh, new piece of functionality here um, with uh, the PVCS September updates, this is an important one. So this is the integrated navigation flows. So a few months ago, we had kind of uh, given a little preview um, of what was coming down the pipeline as far as the springboarding effect um, for all of Oracle's cloud services. Um, so this was really the ability to, to log into, you know, one environment and be able to hop back and forth from multiple applications. So if you were a, a client that had uh, three PBCS applications, um, in the past you would have had to actually log in individually to each of those applications. Uh, you know, potentially you could have had a different domain for those uh, different applications. We can now create uh, navigation flows, customized ones, that allow you to um, jump from application to application. So this is more than just PBCS to PBCS as well. You'll notice that the screenshot here on this slide uh, shows details around uh, the source, so where you can start your, your springboard from, and then your targets. So here, if you look, you can even go all the way to, you know, SDCS, um, tax reporting cloud solutions, um, you know, all the way to reporting cloud solution too. So, I mean, there's a lot of different ways you can slice and dice this. Um, I would like to call out one thing for this initial implementation, if you look there on the note. So, this initial rollout, if these applications um, or if, these, uh, if those instances are on different domains, then you would not be able to establish connections at this time. Um, however, you, you can submit a ticket with Oracle to relocate them uh, to the same data center. And uh, the release readiness guide has provided information saying that Oracle plans to address this in the future and enable functionality or, or the springboarding effect um, between uh, data centers. But Bob and I were talking about this, and we still think that it would probably be a good idea to, to request that all of your applications get moved to the same data center. Because if you think about it, uh, you could run into some network and connectivity issues and slower performance if you're jumping data center to data center. You know, I think the best example that we thought of is we've been on clients where the s based server from an on-prem perspective is in one data center and the planning server is in a, a different data center and there's certainly, um, you know, some lagging effect that takes place and some data latency. Um, so I think overall our recommendation would be uh, to still make sure that all of your cloud applications are in the same data center. So <clears throat> that's the overall, I think, new piece of functionality. So along with that, um, I wanted to just have a couple slides walking through how to set up your connections. So before you actually um, can create navigation flow, customized um, tabs there in your navigation flow to go application to application, you must actually select um, and create new connections here first. So that can be done here under the tools um, navigation bar on your simplified, simplified interface. Um, and then these are the services that you can select in order to create that new connection. So if you look here, that basically aligns with that, uh, that matrix that we showed on the prior slide. So once you select uh, the connection type, um, you'll be prompted with uh, some information here that you can um, fill out. And this is kind of uh, equivalent to an on-prem uh, creating a data source almost. So if you look there, you, know, you even have a, a validate for the um, administrator and password for that connection type. Once you're able to successfully validate that connection um, and then uh, create it, um, then when you're in your, your, uh, your PVCS application on the cloud, you can then connect um, individually right there, like the screenshot on the right shows, to all of the different connections that you've created. So basically, this is kind of step one, uh, and then step two would be uh, the ability to be able to create those custom navigation flows. Uh, and I do have just that same disclaimer here on the bottom, which I think is important to, to point out here. <clears throat> so overall, this is, this is something that we've been waiting for for a while. I think it's a, it can be a very powerful um, you know, tool here in order to streamline your, your planning and budgeting. Um, you know, so you can actually have you know, forms in one spot that jump application to application. So if you have two applications that uh, you know, integrate data um, you know, to and from each other, you can actually um, connect all in one spot there. So pretty interesting uh, deployment here. I'm interested to see where this goes to with future releases. I think we're going to see a lot of improvements uh, as we go down the roadmap here.